Hello and welcome back to Coin Matters channel. There has been some significant Bitcoin market news recently. Therefore, we'll be discussing recent Binance updates. Also, we have some massive warnings about the US economy, its debt downgrade, and we're going to talk about that the impact on the crypto market and also the crypto prices today, why is a lot of the crypto market down? I've been seeing him circulate on the front page of the news right now over on Twitter what he sees as saying about this. But who are the big victors here? In this video, we'll discuss this topic in further detail. If you like these updates, I'm asking you to do me a favor. Tap the virtual thumbs up. Proceed with the video. First, I have some news for you. A recent, large article has caused a great deal of fear, uncertainty, and doubt, FUD, in the cryptocurrency industry. Here it warns that Binance may be prosecuted for fraud against us. Prosecutors, however, are concerned about the possibility of a bank run, and the value of Bitcoin and Biden's BNB cryptocurrency promptly declined after the article was released. This message is being sent to us via semaphore. Finally, what are they expressing? Given the potential for a bank run on the scale scene at FTX, prosecutors are reportedly considering possibilities to filing fraud charges with the U.S. Department of Justice against the Nance Cryptocurrency Exchange. This is quite fascinating. Is it therefore possible that the Binance Exchange may face fraud charges? According to reports, the U.S. government is reportedly exchanging cryptocurrencies, raising questions about the potential for a bank run. So, if you read this, you'll know that Nance is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world, but the pain caused by their collapse last year, along with the long history and traditional finance of failed firms like Lehman Brothers in 2008, dragging down the rest of the industry, shows the risk of going after a systemically important institution. New information is quite intriguing. Again, I think that would help popularize FUD in the marketplace if it were to actually happen. On the other hand, you may have seen that Binance is currently engaged in a Twitter battle with the FUD, resulting in the elimination of the number 4. In other words, don't pay any attention to the FUD. The quality of steady validation or even logical reasoning in this news is a low, he says here in reference to another Coindesk post. Again, Coindesk comes out with a lot of negative news about Binance. Is it a targeted fight? Some would argue that there's a case for that. So he's referring to this report, which claims that Binance nearly shut down its exchange in order to protect worldwide operations. And yes, we are aware that Wall Street exchanges are opening and that exchange-traded funds, ETFs, will soon be available on the market. We'll get to that in a minute. Is it true that they intend to restrict the Binance cryptocurrency exchange? It's a significant query. Nance hears and sees people questioning and noticing this. He's practically urging his Twitter followers to drop fours. So let's put up a battle against the FUD right now, and I think that may have contributed to a drop in the cryptocurrency market. However, it is currently the case with the Binance alerts. There is a fraud operating at the same time. We have been watching the station and are aware of this. If you've been keeping up with the latest cryptocurrency developments, you probably already know about this fraud because you subscribed and received a notification. But computer science education is sounding the alarm as well, and if we look into it, someone almost lost $20 million to a crypto fraud. What is this cryptocurrency hoax anyway? To put it simply, that's all there is to it. Scammers can dust your wallet if you use MetaMask or Trust Wallet to send cryptocurrency to an address other than the one associated with your routine transactions. So I've actually copied the first four letters and the last four letters so that if you send it to the last transaction, which might have been dusted, you won't give it to the scammer by accident. As a result, before hitting send, double check the recipient's address to ensure you're not using an old one. Also, don't put too much faith in the history of your decentralized wallet, be it MetaMask, your trust wallet, or any of the others. But that is a major point. Someone almost lost $20 million to that fraud. If that were you, you'd be crushed. Let's move on to some encouraging data. I'll say it again because it bears repeating. Michael Saylor, CEO of MicroStrategy, has been buying Bitcoin like crazy, and the company now has $4.4 billion worth of the digital currency. 
That's a positive sign, too. So, wherever possible in crypto, you want bullish crypto whales to be purchasing diamond hands, since this will result in a long-term increase in price. So today, I'd like to give a shout out to Michael Saylor. The chances of a Bitcoin exchange-traded fund being approved are also rising. This means that if a Bitcoin ETF is approved, institutional money in the United States, where there is lots of money generally it wants to go into the stock market and ETFs, might find a home in a Bitcoin ETF, which would necessitate buying up the underlying spot Bitcoin to back the ETF, which is very bullish. So some are claiming it's approximately 65% probability of getting legalized in the US and BlackRock money as well. As a result, it may be a very bullish catalyst in the near future. Bitcoin, according to Michael Saylor, is the glimmer of hope we've been waiting for. Wow, that's a gorgeous photo. And the US debt, let's discuss, is the US already on the verge of collapse? Its debt rating has now been slashed. Fitch has upgraded the long-term foreign currency rating of the United States from AAA to AAA+. Here is where CNBC displays its propaganda shilling. However, in the second half of the line, economists express no concern. Is the font on this thing authentic, even though they're attempting to downplay it? For the most part, I agree. If the U.S. economy is any indication, then the font must be real. And why does that matter, exactly? Since, you know, lots of stuff is going on in the U.S. economy. The level of national debt is skyrocketing. This debt carries a huge amount of interest. Democrats and Republicans in the United States have a lot of disagreements and rarely work together. There is a lot of tension because the two sides are so different. I think the United States is in for some tumultuous times ahead. The country's debt rating has been lowered as a result, and a quick glance at the Fitch ratings shows that most countries maintain their AAA status. Canada and Denmark, for example, both have AAA ratings, while the rest of the countries in this sample look AAA. You have just entered the exclusive a club. Many experts in the field of mainstream economics are worried. They're making serious efforts to play this down. But the U.S. national debt is not out of the woods. Expect some volatility. Could we see some more black swan events in the future? If you're curious about this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications if you want to find out. It will also have some relation to the cryptocurrency market. I think a healthy economy, especially in the United States, is necessary because it will influence the price of cryptocurrencies and encourage more people to invest in these extremely inventive speculative assets. In my opinion, the macro economy is in a bull run, but the cryptocurrency market is a potential danger zone until these issues are resolved. Interesting things are happening, nevertheless, if we take a look at the current crypto pricing. Casper, a cryptocurrency we have been advocating for on the channel, has re-entered the market and there is some evidence that post-chain Hex is making a comeback as investors by the decrease in its price. Here, you can see that the Bitcoin price has fallen by 2.2% in the last 24 hours. My concern is not for the foreseeable future. You can see right here a bit of a sell-off in the market, but there is a lot of volatility around this $29,000, $30,000 range right here, and we have seen this battle basically continue sticky prices. Links to different crypto exchanges are in the description of this video if you want to support the channel. What could be a catalyst that upsets this to the upside? I'm thinking Bitcoin ETFs if they come online, but just watch out for some of this macro stuff as well, as it will play into crypto prices. If we look at some other cryptocurrencies today, we see that many of them are retracing in the market and have dropped by as much as 2.8%. Casper is clearly doing well as it is up 12.4% and still rising rapidly. Please let me know in the comments if you'd like me to cover Casper in the future. I know there's a large Twitter community interested in this cryptocurrency. Casper followers on the channel have been commenting below on the Pepe retracing and Terra Classic retracing that happened today. That is the danger you face in the current cryptocurrency market. Please consider subscribing to my channel and giving the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.